Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. Now behind me, we are joined with another car which I've wanted to feature and well, experienced for so long and that is the Mark V GR Super. Now this car is certainly not standard. It's in fact running a stage two software from AutoTalk where I'm actually here today. We'll be catching up with Chris from AutoTalk very shortly as he's gonna take me out in the car um, and uh, we'll have a bit of fun. But this thing looks so good. You might spy the custom rear wing reminiscent of the Mark IV Supra and you know what? I really, really like it. This is the first time I've actually got up close and personal with the new Supra. I must be one of the only people who hasn't made a video of one, surely. Um, but yeah, the fact that this thing is running a stage two software, a downpipe, and is running pretty much 500 brake, I am very, very excited to go and experience it. So what we'll do, we'll have a walk around the car. I can explain to you what has been done to it before we catch up with Chris from AutoTalk. We'll go out on it and have some fun. I am super, super excited to experience this one. Let's go. So at long last, we finally have a GR Supra on the channel. Now in standard form, this car runs around 335 brake, between 335 and 340. And it's actually got the same engine as my M140i, of course, with a few different mapping bits and bobs like that. Not to 60 takes, just over four seconds, and you have 500 newton meters of torque as standard. However, like I mentioned, this car is actually running a stage two software. It's running now pretty much 500 uh, brake horsepower. I'm not sure about the torque, and it will certainly put down the power a hell of a lot better. It's running a auto torque downpipe, which does sound incredible. I mean, you know how good these B58s sound when you open them up a bit. We also have the custom spoiler on the back, which to be honest with you, it should have come with it from standard. I mean, it looks so good, reminiscent of the Mark IV Supra with these awesome color matched end plates with the carbon in the middle. I mean, to be honest, if you imagine this without that spoiler, it doesn't really look like much, but that, it really makes the back end of it for me. Now the car is sitting pretty damn nicely as well, thanks to some eye-back lowering springs. It's been lowered 35 mil on the front and 30 mil on the back with 15 millimeter spacers all round by TPI. Still wearing the standard wheels, gloss black with the red calipers behind. I actually really like it in white with the black and red touches. It's almost like a pearl white. We don't have the sun out at the moment but it's a really, really nice color, especially with those gloss black wheels. I actually quite like the standard wheels. And to be honest, I mean, you guys watching are gonna know that pretty much 80% of the worldwide Supras have been modified. <laughs> and to be honest, even though this one is certainly modified, it still looks pretty understated, but that wing I do really, really like. Now, one thing which is a bit of a talking point with the new Supra is actually how many fake grills you have here and there, um, especially the one by the door here. Can see that it is well it's, it's not real but to be honest i think that certainly makes it it really accentuates the rear arches especially with that wing and i'm not gonna lie the whole look of this car i do really really like now along with the auto torque stage two there's also a pipe across panel filter in there as well but to be honest a bit like my m140i you don't need to do that much to it to make it a bit of an animal inside we have a little peek in here very reminiscent to a bmw because to be honest it shares a lot of parts with it but still Pretty nice place to be. Of course, we do have <laughs> the double pull down here, so I can show you under the bonnet too. And here we can see the panel filter literally just slots into the stock airbox. Um, but yeah, pretty huge engine bay actually. Um, and yeah, I mean, just a panel filter, a downpipe and a tune, and there we go, 500 brake instantly with the stock turbos and of course the stock internals as well. Now, whilst on the subject of the exhaust, like I mentioned, it has got a downpipe fitted. It's a four inch uh, auto torque downpipe and also an OPF delete as well, which is basically the particulate filter. In fact, this has pretty much the exact same exhaust work, which I've done to my car. Um, so yeah, you know it's gonna be loud, that is for sure. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. Pretty brief walk around of the G our Supra. I think what we're going to do, we're going to hop in the car with Chris from Auto Talk, put the GoPros up, we'll go and have some fun and uh, well I can introduce you to him uh, as well and uh, we can go have a little drive in this car because well I am super excited to experience it and see how it compares to my M140i actually running similar power bit, this is running a little bit more but it'd be cool to experience it and finally have a video of one of these on the channel. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Hines cars, we sell Hines sports cars, mm -hmm. and um, a, set, uh, a raffle company, Seven Day Performance, actually contacted me because they wanted a Supra. Yep. Um, this was a few months back actually, and they ended up buying my first one, mm -hmm. my grey one, which yep. we developed because they'd seen it, heard about it, and um, seen the tuning work we did. Mm -hmm. That was so successful that then they've come back to us and asked for a second one. Yeah, so we have there to have this one, this white one in stock. Yeah. And um, they didn't want it standard, so I said, well, let's do the tuning work on it again. Yeah. Make it a bit different. So we um, got hold of the rear spoiler. Yeah. And um, oh, so it was literally yeah. completely stock. Completely stock. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. So that's going to be going up for grabs for someone then soon, isn't it? Absolutely. So. Yeah. So that will be available. Yeah. Available to win. For yeah. Probably. Under ten pounds. That's <laughs> mental to think about, isn't it? Yeah. And actually, whilst we're speaking about that, you may as well give us a little bit of a rundown about what Auto Talk is. Okay. Yeah, sure. So Auto Talk is um, my tuning garage. I started it back in 20, 2007. Yeah. yeah. I was trying to think. Yeah. <laughs> Thirteen years or so now. Yeah. So yeah, and that, that has always been my passion. Working with fast cars. Mm. It's been my background. I come from a motorsport background, working on uh, race cars, rally cars, and. Um, yeah, always been into starting off with the Mitsubishi Evo. That's that's really yep. where I where I sort of uh, got into these performance cars, um, Japanese sports cars. Yeah, yep. developed from then, and um, yeah, did that. Went around the world traveling with um, with race teams and rally teams, and then um, decided to set up on my own in yeah, 2007 to start awesome. Auto Talk. And you do a lot of Japanese cars, yeah, primarily, GTR Evos. Primarily Japanese, uh, that's where we started, that's what we're known for. Um, but as time has moved on, we are doing the you know, the sort of German yeah. hot hatches, which become very popular with all this. Yeah, you know, definitely. Tuning, tuning <laughs> definitely. So, yeah, we do we do a lot of lot of different work on performance cars, anything yeah. from restoration from old old like classic sports cars to um, yeah, tuning sure. brand new. Brilliant. Supras. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, you've worked wonders on this. I mean, even though I haven't experienced a stock Supra, yep. I can kind of gauge about what it <laughs> You can tell that this one's an animal, to put it that way. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, the stock Supras are great, they, yeah. but they just, in my opinion, I think they just needed just to be opened up a little bit more. Yeah. I mean, comparing it to my M140i, obviously, it shares quite a few components with that car. Yep. That car was very civilized standard like with the, the particulate filters even though you've got that nice big lump up front i mean the, the exhaust note didn't really it didn't really match up it was you could tell it was really restricted which i can imagine what this car was standard as well yeah um i mean it, it kind of begs for a, <laughs> a straight pipe it does yeah <laughs> and just add the pops and burbles it just yeah. makes it a lot more exciting <laughs> it's a lot of fun. It picks up and goes. It's it does, just, doesn't it? It's so good. A lot of fun. Yeah, I was very impressed with this car actually. Mm. These cars from you know from the get go really. Wasn't quite sure what to expect. Yeah, I mean it's very different, I suppose, isn't it? For for a Supra, I mean it's not a traditional Supra, which a lot of people weren't really a fan of at first. That's right. But I think now people are kind of opening their eyes to it with, I mean, the potentials of the tuning for it. And what you can do with them is, I think, kind of, it's, it's convinced a few people, I think. Definitely, yeah, no, that's, that's the beauty of it, I think, that, you know, the capabilities of this car, there's, there's so much to be to be had from them. Yeah, I mean, like I was saying to you, I mean, if someone's put a manual gearbox in one, for example, you, you can put yeah. wide arches on them, Absolutely. bigger turbos, everything like that, I mean, it's... Yeah, there's there's a lot more, a lot more parts becoming available as well, there's yeah. um, limited slip diffs now, and, you know, there's all sorts of turbos. And, yeah. Yeah, plenty you out can, there. You can go on forever, can't you? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's a bit like what we do with the GTRs. You know, they've mm. now been knocking around, you know, a good ten years, and there's yeah. absolutely everything for those available. And this, this will go the same way. It's just mm. a just a matter of time. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's uh, to be honest, it's the kind of car which you buy to modify. It's it's not really the kind of car which you buy and think, oh, it doesn't need anything else going <laughs> into it. You think, exactly. yeah, it needs an exhaust, it needs a tune, yep. and then it's proper. I it's think so. So the type of person who's going to buy it is that enthusiastic <laughs> monster. Yeah. yeah do their, put their touch on it. I would buy one <laughs> if yeah. I didn't have the 140. And yeah. if this was maybe not as much money as what it is, then then uh, I, I'd buy The first experience on it, I absolutely love it. I love good. the looks of it as well. And that spoiler, I keep on going back to it, but it looks so good in the rearview mirror. Yeah, it, keep, it keeps catching.
catching your eyes. That's it, yeah. Even that for fourth gear. Fourth gear pulling auto, yeah, it's just it probably it's screams good. when you get it up to up to the red line as well, doesn't it? And then you get those and, you get <laughs> and explosions. <laughs> Awesome. You can't help but smile when you hear yeah, that. That's it. Brilliant. Well, I think that's going to wrap things up. Well, Chris, once again, thank you very much for uh, for taking me out in the car. Uh, my first time in a Supra at last. Um, and of course, I will leave all of Auto Talk's links and also the competition for you guys to win this car um, all down in the description and down below. But that is going to wrap things up for me today. Finally, I can tick the Supra box off of my list of cars I want to experience. But yeah, like I said, that's it for me today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure to subscribe. All the adventures.